What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2 Wild checking in once again, back with another video today, guys, on something very, very special as we wrap up the year of 2016 and we enter into 2017. I know a lot of you guys are always asking me about my certain equipment that I have and that I use on my videos, especially when it comes to shooting and to vlogging. Uh, right now, currently, I'm using this Canon 6D, which you guys will be able to probably see a B-roll of. I use my Canon G7X for my vlogging. And I also use my Black Magic over there that I shoot a lot of my higher quality videos, which I shoot in 4K or 1440p. Now, I've been using this same formula for a good little minute now, like a year now, especially with this Canon 6D. I've been using that for over, I would say, three years now. And uh, I finally was looking into new cameras and trying to find the best camera for what I'm trying to do. Now, forgive me for the sound out here. They're doing construction outside, so it's kind of weird right now. But um, yeah, I was looking for a camera to do what I need to do with my daily type of videos, whether it being vlogging, uh, fit vids, and uh, you know, just the vids talking like this, or just the uh, reviews and all feet, you know what I'm saying? So I was looking around, I was looking at various cameras. I had the Canon G7 Neck, which is a great vlogging camera already, but I wanted to up the quality a little bit. So, you know, I was really just waiting more and more on that to, to do more research. And the Canon G7 X Mark II came out, which I was gonna get my hands on, but, still was like ah eh, let me keep looking there's a canon 6d mark ii coming out that i liked but i was like eh, it's kind of the same thing a little bit better to this but i was looking for something more specific so i kept looking and looking and today i finally got my package in of what i ended up copping now this camera came out earlier this year i think it's probably the best in my opinion vlogging camera of 2016 and going into 2017 now there's gonna be tons of people that's gonna say you should have got this you should have got that especially when you get the cameras everybody's gonna tell you what you should have got but as long as you're happy that's what really matters at the end of the day and I know what I got is gonna help do what I want to do at the end of the day and that's that's you know boost the channel up now the Canon G7 uh, the Canon 60D you know shoots with a um, 20 megapixel 20, uh, 20 megapixel camera full frame now what I ended up going for is something a little bit smaller on a crop sense a crop sensor but a newer crop sensor model but it shoots at 24 megapixels now forgive me for this god damn as we do this man we wrap this bitch correctly so here we got today is the Canon 80D now I've been seeing a lot of reviews on this. It's supposed to be a great camera, fantastic camera. Canon is where I'm at. I'm a Canon guy, so that's what I get at the end of the day. But this thing is missing everything. I mean, this thing is my bad. This camera has everything but the 4K that many people were kind of heard about. They thought they were going to bring the 4K out with this. But it's a great camera for photography, a great camera for video. But the most important thing that I wanted to do more of is, you know, upping my vlogging experiences and all that. And that comes with the new well, not new, but the you know articulating uh, viewfinder. Now, this is basically the newer version of the 70D, and 70D is a great camera as well. But I'm going in for something new at the end of the day, not like the old stuff. And it comes with that flip-out screen, so that's going to allow me to do my vlogging and just having no problem at all. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I decided to go with and why I went with the Canon 80D. It comes with its kit lens, which is a 18 by 55 with the STM lens, which is like basically a very, very quiet standard lens. Like it doesn't have any sound at all when, uh, you know, when like doing videos, it auto focuses as well. So I can put the camera here and I can vlog, you know, and it's gonna focus on my face. With this camera, I come in, I'm blurry. I come out, I'm not blurry. I mean, I, you know, I'm in focus. With this camera, it doesn't do that. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it up, get the batteries. I mean, you, it probably uses the same batteries as my 60D, and my 6D, which it does. So we're gonna plug this in. We're gonna get another camera right here. I'm gonna set the camera right here and get a whole nother angle and kind of get a feel for this camera and see how it is. And this camera actually works with all my lenses, so it's just it's automatic. We just pussy pop, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get it. All right, guys. So we're back. We got this camera set up right here. What's going on? It's on auto focus mode. I can come in. It's gonna focus and come back. It's gonna focus. That's what main. That's the main thing here that I'm enjoying about now. I'm gonna fuck with it a little bit more, get the little shinu, sh you know, dibbly doodads going on. Uh, try my other lenses on it, cause you know the kit lens is good, but it's not like I don't, it's not the best, you know what I'm saying? But it is great for vlogging and it's really quiet. So we're gonna show respect to it, but I'm gonna also put my new, my L lenses on it and all that, and see how that really makes things 
pussy pop at the end of the day because that's what I'm really looking forward to. And then I got my, of course, my 24 me uh, millimeter that I recently got. That's just some of the best glass I've seen in a long time. So, you know, uh, the Canon AD is a very good camera to use, especially if you're going to be going some vlogging. That's what the main thing is, and that's why I think it's one of the best, if not the best, vlogging camera of 2016 going into 2017. So right now, I would say 2017 as well. Now, I know a lot of people down in the comment section are going to say you get the, uh, the Panasonic G, G, uh, uh, was it GF7 or GH7. I think it's the GH7, which shoots to, uh, 4K and all that as well, which which is a good camera as well. It's another camera I was thinking about getting. But if you're just trying to be, you know, come in, at a really standard base, I think it's the best camera to go with right now. You know, it doesn't take that much to shoot. You know, 4K can be hell and a pain in the ass when it comes to size and the computer strength that you need to do that. Um, this is kind of just a, you know, plug and go and you're kind of ready to go. You don't have no tr no troubles. So if you're looking for a good camera, I would suggest going with the Canon 80D. I can send you a link down below. I was able to get this for $80, the full kit. The body itself usually costs $1,000. But I was able to get everything, the lens and the um, Canon body for a $1,000. Uh, and I will leave links down below where you can cop this today if you're looking for something new to do to your channel or want to be vlogging more. It's a great camera. It takes great photos. But 80D versus 6D, I will give the video part to the 80D right now. The new sensor, the, the focusing, the screen is great. Pictures, though, 60D still wins in my book. That's just me personally. But yeah, guys, leave a like down below. Now, uh, let me know what you like and what you think. It's Tony D Tech 2 Wild in the building. Make sure you hit that like button, you comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys on the next video. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.